So I love C.S. Lewis. I'm a big, big fan. I've loved the Chronicles of Narnia books since I was a kid when I first read them. And I've been reading them basically ever since when I started having kids of my own, read them to them. Everyone in the Lentini house knows the stories of the Chronicles of Narnia very well. Uh, because we've walked through the land of Narnia many times as a family, and we will continue to do so. We love these books. And it's been interesting the last couple weeks to watch as Christians slowly find out that the new movies that Netflix is going to be doing, two of them at least, are going to be directed by Greta Gerwig, the director of Barbie. And to watch Christians kind of slowly lose their mind over this thing. Catastrophic! Like the, I made a video on my movie channel, which has mostly secular audience, but brought in some Christians when I talked to, about this, and the reactions were not great. <laughs> and uh, I've watched some Christians kind of talk about this lately, and uh, I thought it'd be interesting and fun to kind of give my perspective and why I think that it's a great thing. Maybe the best thing that could have happened to the Chronicles of Narnia franchise is to have Greta Gerwig direct these movies, or at least spearhead like the franchise in directing two of these movies. She's a great director. She is. You can't fight it. You can't fight it. She's a great director. She's not uh, Oscar nominated. This isn't some random person, uh, but also she has experience with dealing with source material. I'm not talking Barbie. People are talking about, oh, well, she ruined Barbie. Barbie didn't have anything. Okay. Uh, Barbie had an idea and a look and Greta Gerwig took that idea and look and ran with it with a unique story. And uh, I, I think that it was actually really good. I, I have a couple streams where I've talked about that. It's not the man hating stuff that you've heard. Uh, if you've seen the movie and you still think that I think you saw a different movie. I don't know what movie you saw, but to me, I, I just don't understand that take. If you look at that movie, when Barbie's in charge, when Ken is in charge, both of these scenarios are bad in the movie. It's, so it's about a compromise between the genders. Anyways, um, it's not about Barbie. It's about Little Women. Little Women is fantastic. All right, I'm not talking about the 1994 classic with Christian Bale as Teddy. That's one down part. And, you know, this t making Timothy Chalamet Teddy. Hashtag not my Teddy. Okay. Uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale was awesome in that one, but everything else in the, in the Greta Gerwig directed version in 2018, 2019, whatever year that was, uh, I, I think was fantastic. It was a really good movie and it was faithful to the source material. There was source material there. Unlike Barbie, there was just an idea. This had source material and Greta Gerwig was able to find a way to bring her directorial skill that we saw clearly in Lady Bird and her unique flair into the source material and still be extremely faithful to the source material. So I have no reason to believe that it's going to be any different with Chronicles of Narnia. She had source material. She was faithful to the source material. And I think that she'll be faithful to the source material of Chronicles of Narnia. Um, now, you know, there are going to be people who are like, well, she's biased. So of course it's going to bleed into her, her work. Yeah, so is everybody. Everybody is biased, and that always comes into their work. It doesn't mean that they're not able to perform their tasks. It doesn't mean that they can't do their job just because they have a bias. It means that, you know, we need to be a little bit careful about how we deal with things when we have a bias. And maybe the bias is actually thinking that she's going to be biased. I'm just saying, all right, these things are kind of circular. All right, second reason. Narnia isn't just an allegory. Okay, uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, yes, you know, Aslan represents Jesus and it's beautiful and it's great and some of my favorite stuff in the Chronicles of Narnia, but it's so much more than that. First, the allegory is so much more than that. It's about the Christian life. It's about the enticement of sin. It's about, um, you know, choosing to be loyal to the king at all costs, like, and to pursue, like, the king's plan. Like, there's so much more than just uh lion jesus it's more it's more than lion jesus it's it's a beautiful story but it also it's a fairy tale it is it is a fairy tale and it's a fairy tale that's connected with the whole world it's why disney tried to make so much money off the project because they thought there was so much money to be had it's why netflix bought the rights for it it's why they're making these movies because they aren't you know just thinking oh every christian will come to this movie you know they're thinking about the whole world they're thinking that what what kid doesn't want to become a king and queen 
in uh, some fantasy land that they could enter in through their closet. You know, like that, that's an awesome idea for a kid. So of course this is going to relate to the whole world. So why not have them come into this thing and be able to enjoy the story too? It's not just for Christians, and it doesn't mean that a Christian has to direct this movie in order for it to be faithful to the source material. And number three, uh, I would say, is Disney already ruined Chronicles of Narnia? I know, hot take, right? Well, actually, there's a few things that I really enjoy about those movies, but there are also some huge problems that I have, just as uh, a Narnia fan. All right, you, you go watch The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. And then read the book. And then you come and have a conversation with me about Eustace's repentance and turning back from a dragon into human form and the conversation that he has with Aslan. Like a lot of people, they haven't read the book. They they just watch the movies and they see a little bit of it. But there, there are so much differences in some of the conversations that Aslan has with the kids. And maybe it was too over the top or whatever. But Disney already did it. And no one has any problem with it. So why not let Netflix have a shot at it? Maybe they'll do it better. Lastly, if you really are against any form of feminism, then don't watch these movies at all. Don't read the books, certainly, because if you read the books, you'll see feminism all throughout. <laughs> all right. Uh, C.S. Lewis was doing some interesting things on the relationship between genders and showing that the women were the heroes, not, not the men necessarily. We, we see in the first one, Lucy is the one who believes in Aslan. Lucy is the one who has the knowledge. Lucy is the one who is the hero of the first story. You know, there are some things uh, that I think were of C.S. Lewis's time, like women not entering into the battlefield. Uh, there, were, there were some things that definitely were in his cultural moment, uh, some limitations for women. But when you read the books, when they go into the land, I mean... Lucy and Susan are queens as well in Narnia and get to rule alongside their brothers. They have authority as equal with their brothers. Later on, Jill Pole is the hero. Like the women actually are more heroic, I would say, uh, maybe except for Prince Caspian. He's kind of like the hero of all heroes in Narnia. Um, but women are looked at as heroic in these books. And actually, they move the narrative probably further than than the men do in these books. So I'm just saying, like, there's there's already some feminism there. So these are the reasons why I think Christians should stop freaking out and should maybe give Greta Gerwig a chance and let her direct these things. And if you don't like it after she directed it, fine. But I am very excited for Greta Gerwig to direct these things. Maybe I'm wrong but I'm willing to take a shot on an Oscar nominated director who is doing very interesting things, taking a property where she's already taken a very famous property and been faithful to that source material. I, I'm very interested to see what she does with Chronicles of Narnia. Anyways, I will see you in the next stream, probably on Friday. Bye.